Hey, welcome to game three between Loki from Russia on the Commonwealth team and Nat Nat from UK on the German team. So they are tied for their first best first to two series, and this is the third match. And we're back here on Lumber. So it's a replica of the first game, and it seems very similar opening with the Panzer Grenadiers start from Nat and also an elite marksman start, but he's not the Soviets this time. And this time Nat Nat actually gets to the wall before. Loki takes a few shots but doesn't really do much damage. The other G43s do have the automatic rifles, the Enfields not so, but perhaps an 80 grenade from Loki. Oh wow, that was a nice 80 grenade from Nat. Uh, well, <laughs> it's just funny seeing these guys battle. There's so many hit points and they're shooting each other and just not dying. It just seems like we're playing a different game like Company of Heroes with these hit points of units. But this is the Elite Marksman versus Elite Marksman. <laughs> Even an 80 grenade doesn't take him out. Um, this is quite a funny battle. But lucky he has managed to finish off Nat. That, that was just a bit of a blur for me. I didn't know how that happened. But it looks like oh, it looks like it was pretty damn even. One versus one. No one's got the center. Um, this is quite a funny. It's like a I don't know. It's like Chuck Norris versus Chuck Norris. Super super soldiers just trying to kill each other, but they're just too tough. Still, still not dying. It's a funny battle. Elite Marksman versus Elite Marksman. But on the Western point, we see uh, that that capping that, and also the eastern point that that is capping. Uh, Loki's coming now with an assault squad, splitting it up into two. Uh, some elite marksmen as well coming from Loki in the background, and also see uh, from Nat here an assault squad, and um, so just an assault squad. So he's hasn't bought that second squad yet because he went a lot of singles. I don't think Loki went the singles. That's why he was able to afford the elite marksmen and the assault squad straight off the bat. And he's going to take this point with the superiority of numbers. Nat Nat is coming though to reinforce an elite marksman flanking on the right. And oh, that's unfortunate. The 80 gren uh, normal grenade hit, oh, hit the fence and doesn't go. And the 80 grenade finishes him off. Look at that. That was just a just a brilliant uh, maneuver. I suppose a bit uh, a bit of bad luck from Nat because he, he didn't have any idea that the elite marksman was coming down there as well. Uh, here is an assault squad now coming from the center. Loki now has the position of the eastern and center quite thoroughly with elite marksmen in between the two flags being able to shoot quite well and they're coming in approaching from the center uh, very clumped up and they'll be in danger of a grenade and it looks like they're going to be quite pinned down because there's no cover no cover till probably around there but they're going to struggle to get there with some SMGs in positions not in firing positions though so pushing up to the next set of cover, Loki's falling back one guy to throw the grenade perhaps. This is the Assault Squad leader. And he's not using the in grenade launcher, he's using a pineapple grenade instead. And we'll get taken out. So surviving somehow. And that's this is, a, this is again a funny infantry battle where it's head on but nothing really getting slaughtered. A lot of dodging going on, a lot of weaving between in and out covers. And it looks like Nat might win this because he's got the elite marksman and the SDG-44 guy is dead, so Nat will win that point. But an assault squad coming from, uh, sorry, Loki will win that point. Nat is also going to the eastern now with a full assault squad. On the minimap I can see Loki trying to pressure onto the western with three guys. Should be able to take it versus two. Might be quite even because the two are in defense. Uh, Nat is now pushing into this flag, should have no problems. And Loki is going to potentially get flanked by the guys on the eastern point. And they're now moving away to the next, next set of cover, so they don't get flanked from the side. Falling back, a lot of displacing and repositioning from these two players. Very thought out infantry battle. Uh, this may end now with a grenade. One guy left and none. Now with Nat totally turning that around with an assault squad flank on the eastern point and now potentially can now attack the center. He holds on the western. Looks like Lucky failed to take that with those three guys and that didn't lose a single guy over there. And a militiaman in the center. Olicon by, yes, Olicon by. Plus a few single SMDs. Or oh, assault squad split up, I guess. Looks like an assault squad. Uh, plus change. Now, Nat Nat is ducking to try and get out of there. And this will be able to change the dynamic. Will force Nat to buy a tank, which he has bought one already. But the Panzer III is out. Could counter that quite easily. I'm guessing. Ooh, what has he got? He's got 80 infantry, okay. So this means, usually when this happens, it means it's quite a fair way away from the tanks. 
So he will not be able to afford a card counter for this P3 for a while. And now the sniper's out, he can play the role of picking off the troops. And the Olicon now is pretty much hiding for now. And this will be... This will be good for Nat. He can really hold the flags without any pestering. This is basically making the Olicon non-existent on the map. Making it forced to go down the hill into safety. As it is now, we see... And also using using its HG shells to lob a few. But Lucky in the meantime is now assaulting this point with a militia squad. Jewel uh, Jewel assault one from the back and one from the front. Very nicely maneuvered by Loki with those militias. Takes out those two SMGs guarding. And that is now reinforcing straight off the bat within assault squad to try to retake that point. The pressure is on and it's going pretty fast so far. And that is going to get the majority of flags with the center going to him. And we also see a black watch buy, I'm guessing. It's the black watch buy from Loki. Sniper's still shooting away, so there's really no. This is happening again. This is the same type of game we saw uh, with Nat and Loki in the first game, where Loki just ha doesn't have a line. Like, he really pressures so hard on all the flags and puts all into it. And he ends up losing all these forces and really not reinforcing the points or doesn't have any type of uh, foothold in every po any part of the map. But now he's with the Black Watch coming to the eastern point. One advanced advanced uh, SMG guy there, might get a grenade off. A bit far off, may not take out both of them. Only takes out one, but here comes the remaining of the force. Should be able to overwhelm with the numbers. Sheer weight of the numbers. Uh, western point though, we see now Nat holding it with the full squad. <laughs> one militia guy takes that one. Can the MP40 finish him? Yes, he does. So now takes the Western. Center in jeopardy though with the Olicon, Olicon down the field. P3 though is hunting it. Olicon now running back with a cat and mouse happening. And ooh, nice play by Lucky. Gets a six pounder. On this map, it's definitely viable to do a Olicon six pounder bait. Not sure about the 8th Infantry part though, the way he bought the 8th Infantry. Especially on a map like this where it's so open. And the PT was bound to be staying back. And the 8th Infantry buy possibly just slowed down the 6 pounder to come out. But that's a good buy there. Takes out the P3. All he could now could come out. And the 6 pounder is there to just guard it from any tank counters. Brandenburgers are out on the field as well. Sniper's still picking away in the center. And that could now potentially come in. Not really, I can't actually. So I forget that the Olicon does is uh, pretty much hold fire on these guys and get the hell out of there, or approach approach from a different angle, or uh, definitely maybe move on to this eastern point and forget the center. Two can afford a counter, and the counter is coming in the form of a Panzer three. Six pounder in a strange position. You can tell that the micro is is going on quite strongly. The pressure is everywhere. Lockie's attacking the western, attacking the eastern. And things like that, where the AT guns aren't facing the right way, uh, do get missed. And it's not the priority, I suppose, right now. Now the six pounder is moving in to get a uh, what the <laughs> the P3's engine is showing. Oh no, it's definitely seen. It's definitely seen. It's very close. And I'm guessing Lucky's gonna or oh, not. Nat, Nat's gonna take a shot. No, he's not. Lucky's actually coming even closer. This is quite dangerous if it misses. Oh wow! First shot takes out the six pound. Takes out the P3. Two P3s down, that is going to be a big hit for Nat Nat. 320 MP. So that's 640 MP on just tanks that haven't really done anything. Now the Western Point is in jeopardy by an assault squad. And that is actually getting capped by one rifleman. Maybe at the dispatch assault squad leader has taken out. And this is a three cap almost. Wow, he really needs to get one of these flags. Maybe even the Western Point. Just hold one. Remember. It's always good to hold at least one flag so the three cap doesn't totally uh, destroy you in terms of the score scoreboard. Western Point going lucky. It's got a nice black watch in the center between those two flags. And we'll be able to hold the Western quite thoroughly. But nice one by Nat. He's now sneaky capping the center point, which will buy him some time. But what, what, what killed that six pounder? What killed that? Must have been that sneaky rifleman or something. It's decrewed, but there's no tank on the field, so I'm guessing that's the case. Uh, both tanks aren't being repaired, but they can be repaired. This needs to be a bit more aggressive to totally destroy that six-pounder. 
Uh, Western Point. Going to Loki now. 10 minutes in, 30 to 14. Uh, still trailing, but not for long as here is an Assault Squad coming down to the center point. Backed up with the Olicon. Six Panda now back into action. And an Assault Squad by from Nat Nat. Is going to head to the eastern point. I'm guessing it's the pretty much the only point he can assault or the western. Uh, western is actually quite hard because there's a full Blackwatch squad with even some advanced troops into this in this area. So it's going to be really hard for one squad to get by. I don't think one squad will be able to take it out alone. Uh, possibly a half track by would be nice just to sweep down this way. Good thing about uh, fighting the Olicon Six Pounder is I guess Nat Nat has the mobility if he wants to buy units which are mobile. Such as the half track, come down here, bam bam, half track goes back, goes all the way back here, bam bam bam, kills everything, and the Olicon and Six Pounder really can't do much about it, and that's what maybe he could try a mobile to help him play. Grenade coming in, bam, oh, not looking good for Nat Nat. Three cap is going to be on, and it, there's nothing in sight I can see from Nat that's coming out that will change things. Brandenburgers are out, but these aren't going to work uh, versus the style Lockie's playing now with the emplacements and it works so well from the other game because Lockie bought those tanks but they're not going to work this one Brandenburger coming to get the grenade the six pounder and there's no one wow Lockie's line is very thin uh, AT grenade did bounce this guy is taking hits can he get another hit off DC that grenade DC that one bam AT grenade oh no Raph, another grenade throw that last oh I just have any other grenades unfortunately for Nat it didn't get destroyed, but the P3 now is out. Quick response by in the backfield. There's a six pounder out. Can take out this six pounder. Well, hopefully he can quickly. Wow, that crate just blocked that first shot. He's gonna miss two shots. Oh, he doesn't. Lucky. That's lucky. <laughs> so he's okay. The three cap is on. It's been a while though. So 40 to 30. He needs a flag right now before it goes into Lucky's favor too much. He's going to dynamite this P3, I'm guessing Lucky is making sure of it. He's just taking out the dynamite, I'm assuming. And he's going to drop it. There it is. <laughs> Let's wait for this nice explosion to happen. Oh, what? Did he just throw that dynamite away? Wow, that's... that's nice. <laughs> he picked up the dynamite and threw it. You can do that, by the way, if you didn't know, guys. You can actually... When someone actually throws a grenade at you, even this grenade, like a normal grenade, you can pick it up and throw it back. Or pick it up and stop it from timing it down. Oh, what a bounce! This is going to change everything. If this kills... Oh! <laughs> what? This is the thing about AT guns. And, yeah, this sometimes this happens, and that is a game changer there. Two six banners down in a row. Two P3s that get repaired. If this P3 gets repaired, oh my goodness, and this one gets repaired as well. Nat Nat is definitely in the game. 60 to 30. He stopped the three cap, so he's definitely now uh, got a bit of time up his sleeve. This Olicon's being very pesky and very hard to hit. And now he's moving back below the hill to fight another day. SMG's coming out with a line of sight. Center's still going to nap, perhaps hold fire on this SMG so he can at least cap without revealing himself. A uh, radio up on the field, you can see uh, Lucky is trying to take out that uh, rubble. Sorry, that uh, hull. Let's check out this explosion. Takes out the cover of... What the hell is that? Rock just been flying in the air, and there goes that P3. And one last rubble to destroy. Or wreck, I should call it. And this is the sneaky radio up that Lucky loves to use so much. Maybe not the best map to use it in, but still effective as you can see. It's going to deny uh, Nat Nat his tank repair. Can be spotted though, and HE shell right there could prove to be good, but no, oh, he just takes out the center for some reason. This one won't do too much. It won't do anything, in fact. I don't think it even will take down the house if that was his goal. Oh, it has, does, has taken out part of the house. Uh, Eastern Point now being capped by Nat, though. This is a, t a swinging game. Um, Nat looked to be good at the start, winning a bit of the infantry battles. Oh, first shot on the second six pounder. Oh, I had a question about uh, AT guns in. And the all econ died in succession. This is like a card of dominoes for Lucky right now. The emplacements are totally not working. I had a question uh, this in my comments about AT guns. Why just got in by an AT gun and shelt? Uh, I say it's a choice. Um, AT guns are also things where they don't work on some maps. This map and shelt they can work, as you can see with Lucky making it work at the start. But 
that happens too. The thing is, 80 guns as well. Good players can uh, take it out quite easily. Um, and also, once you, if your 80 gun kills a unit, you can't really take that much advantage. Whereas with a tank, it's mobile, and obviously you can move around, flank, and support your troops whenever you need. As the 80 gun only kills tanks and no other purpose. Uh, that's, was that uh, so? That's one. I think that was uh, was that four six pounders that Lockie has lost. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that P3 took out four. Oh no, that's three. I think it's three six pounders and an all the one. <clears throat> and this Panzer three is going to get repaired. This flak as well is going to provide great support. And Lockie doesn't have MP really. I don't think to counter. Counter Nat Nat, but what he needs versus Nat now is actually a tank to take out this flak and also the P3. The second P3 is repaired as you can see. Three tank crew await to go inside. Uh, flak being blocked by it probably should go a bit more closer so he can actually shoot these guys. Brandenburger MG34 though doing a good job and SMG shooting them in the back also doing a good job. Theodore Rothbart. But here's a Piat guy sneaking. Lucky uh, Theodore's got his back turned against this guy. Oh no, he decides to turn for a bit. Doesn't. Oh wow. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's deaf. He's got good eyesight. I'm just going to say Theodore has good eyesight, but he's deaf. But, oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's got, he's cho he chose the P3, not this. So he chose to move that first. I'm guessing the flak wouldn't have been able to escape anyway. But the P3 has escaped. So he's got two P3s on the field. Center point decrewed. Lucky in the lead, 68-36, but oh, I don't know for how long. Eastern point is going to Nat. Six pounder again coming up to try counter, and it can, but versus two P3s might be quite difficult to do anything. Kill one, the other will take you out. Blackwatch is approaching the Eastern, and mm, maybe able to get it. He will probably get it. There's uh, Lewis. I find Lewis guns are great, great, have great accuracy at, at pretty long range. I find they can snipe units in cover. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that. I, I've noticed that a lot recently watching the tournament. Um, I've never noticed that before the tournament though. Um, here, so those two Lewis guns are going to be shooting away at the enemy. One of them is just running in. Oh no, Lucky, what are you doing? No! It's an MG! It's an MG! Oh, there it goes. So, that holds the point just with the superb, I suppose. Well, it's superb, I guess just by camping the point. <laughs> SMG to the face, Lucky, Grand Burger, and one Sten guy is on the flank, doing a good job. But one P3 has been downed by that uh, six pounder, another one there, bounces, one shot. Oh, militiaman down. Well, he's really aggressive right now. Oh, wow, and has hit the rock, and this is actually not too bad, because that provides some hull down protection. Oh, not anymore as the rock is now, um, sorry, the rock didn't prevent the six pounder taking out the turret and main gun. Our center point is going to Nat Nat. So Western point is going to Nat Nat, center is going to Nat. Uh, could be a three cap very soon, but there's many lo opportunities for Lucky to come in, such as the Eastern point, one guy is there. Center point, he will have superiority of fire too if he sends his full squad down, which he is right now. MG34 there could be a pesky unit and actually will be the unit that will potentially hold this point for the meanwhile. Lucky is one sneaky guy, SMG not really sneaky, is standing in the backfield. Another assault squad from Nat going to the center point. Lewis guns in a decent position, gonna pin down this area. P3, oh Lucky's stolen the Panzer 3 and he's in it, 5268, it's a 3 cap though, he needs the flags back quickly. And this is a game of turnarounds, most likely. This is probably about five turnarounds I've seen in this game. SMG holding his own by himself. Nat just needs, sorry, Lucky just needs a flag. He just needs to get in there. 80 grenade by Nat. Prevents the steal. He's got decent bank, Mr. Nat. Look at that. Go 530 MP. I don't know why. He's even got seven special points. And he's still into the game. All Econ out. Uh, six pounder facing the wrong way. So you can even afford a Vet Tiger. He's actually got money for the Vet Tiger. And there is time for him to actually use that Vet Tiger if he wishes to. He's got all the points now. He's going to take the lead. 68 all. 69 now to 68. Hmm. Lucky needs the point and he is going to get that in the Eastern. 
center can be taken as well. I think the it's a big mess on the map in terms of uh, Loki's forces are all over the place back here, back there. The micro impression must be so full on in this game right now. And you can see when they are struggling to really get a f get control of all of their units. Uh, here is a nice uh, radio up. I'm not going to do too much. but just take the sandbag out. MG34 will need to find a new home to rest its MG. It needs to definitely throw this ammo signal drop with its, its uh, got zero ammo. And on the eastern point, we see uh, wow, this is this is the full this is the full Panzer Grenadier squad coming up from that map. I suppose he doesn't need a tank because he knows if he buys a tank, it's going to be probably be the veteran tiger that he wants to use. So he's going to spend his MP on infantry. And he's going to do that by buying the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini um, tier of inventory. Bam! Takes it out and, yep, easy put away. And now could potentially flank all these forces or move all these forces directly into the center. And yep, just take it. Or even storm that AT gun. That oh, this is a bad thing to have elite troops when the Orlicon's out. Orlicon could do a lot of cost-effective killing by taking these guys out. If so, if he if he can. 80 to 68. Now it's in fire and we'll be able to support his troops quite well. It's actually in a very interesting angle. You can see it's on a slope where the top part is just exposed. It's really hard to hit. It's actually a really good position. It actually is a position where it can't really hit many some things as well. You can see it's being blocked by that stone wall. can shoot in only certain parts of the areas. Uh, SDG44 is still holding, that is probably the reason why they are, because that Orlicon is not really firing at all the location, but it's allowing the militiamen to just throw their grenades and even win versus the Panzer Grenadiers right now. They're, they're kind of winning, in a way. Wow, point blank um, Enfield from the militiamen takes out the Panzer Grenadier. Only two left, and Orlicon will put away the last one perhaps. This last guy is doing a good job though, he's going to hold on? No, he's not. And Lucky may take the center. 85 to 68, he needs flags fast. Center point uh, paratrooper call by Matt will be able to secure that from an assault squad. MP34 is still there and I think it's being reloaded. Uh, he didn't actually drop the ammo signal drop. He must have picked out the MG ammo from that tank. Interesting. In fact, I, I like to use those. I didn't ever used to like using the ammo signal drops because they waste too much micro. But now that the new ammo thing is out, where it reloads automatically, I just drop it. Because it's uh, pretty damn good. You don't have to worry about it, it just keeps reloading. Um, the radio op is going to try to destroy this cover, I think. It's a lot of cover destruction, but it's just too slow. The three cap is gone too long, and looks like Nat Nat has snuck victory away from the Russian player. And wow, this is uh, Nat Nat's looking pretty good, I guess. Uh, with a few unlucky happenings in the six pounder but there's a GG well done to Nat the great hove of UK